Last week, my youngest child and I embarked on a journey from San Diego to Galveston for his college start. Now, with his new chapter beginning, I'm eager to start with mine. I'm excited to head to Alaska. But before that, I plan to make a meaningful stop in Fort Worth to connect and spend time with cherished family friends. Early the next day, I was gifted the opportunity of a fresh shower. I am not in Galveston anymore. I know I didn't record much while I was there. And honestly, I was, you know, low-key mess. I was crying when I left him. I didn't think I was gonna cry, but it was all good. I didn't get to videotape it, like I said, because, you know, I was all over the place, kind of. But now I'm here at Fort Ward. I'm on my way to Alaska. And my first pit stop is with my friend Tess. Hi, everybody. Hello. If you're ever here in Fort Ward, I just realized, and that's where we're going, they have one of the two U.S. Mint. So we're on our way there, and I'm excited to see it. I'll share with you guys later. Once we arrived, I realized that I cannot bring any cameras or any electronics, not even a smartwatch. But here's some of the stuff that I learned that I thought was really cool and worth sharing. Do you have any dollar bill with you? Whether it's $1, $5, $10, $50, or $100. Do you know how you can tell which of these notes was printed in Fourth Ward, Texas? Look at your money, face up, and then turn your eyes toward the lower right hand side corner and look for the letters FW. If you find it, that means the money you're holding was printed in Fourth Ward, Texas at the Western Currency Facility. It also produces $12 million in currency per hour. The daily production rate at this facility is more than 14 million notes per day with an average face value of $288 million. Another cool fact I learned is that beginning with series 1995, all $2 notes have been produced at the Western Currency Facility in Fort Worth, Texas. Fun facts. Denominations larger than the $100 note were last issued in 1969. The motto, In God We Trust, became a part of the design of the U.S. paper currency by an act of Congress in 1955. And did you know that you can fold a piece of paper currency forward and backward about 4,000 times before it will tear? I learned so much from this tour and I definitely enjoyed myself more than I thought I would. And if you're ever in Fort Worth, Texas, this place is a definite must-see. I heard they get very busy at times because of field trips and such, but we were fortunate because when we were there, it was very quiet. We didn't realize how much fun we were having until we started getting hungry, so we ended up having late lunch. My friend Tess took me to this little nice spot, and the whole vibe of the restaurant reminds me of San Diego so much with all the water, the surfboard all over the place and on the roof. It just reminds me of home. Hi, good day. Hi, Kathy. Right next to the building. Yep. Some chopping sandwiches? Right there? Yeah. You have chicken? This is a half chicken. Half chicken. <clears throat> oh, give me, no, give me one chicken. This is a half chicken. Yeah, okay. Chicken and chicken sandwich. Yeah. 
That was a lot of food and they were all very good. We had such a great time this evening and they also made me try this big piece of meat and no, I did not finish it. I ended up packing most of my leftovers. One more selfie before we cross the street to go to the historic Fourth Ward Stockyard. Established in 1866, the stockyards played a pivotal role in the cattle industry during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Located in Fourth Ward, Texas, it became a major livestock market and the epicenter of the cattle trade. The arrival of railroads enhanced its significance, enabling efficient transportation of cattle. The stockyards boasted iconic cattle drives along the Krish Home Trail, contributing to its Wild West image. The district flourished with livestock exchange, meatpacking plants, and saloons. However, as the cattle industry evolved, the stockyards faced decline. In the 1970s, efforts to preserve its historic charm began, leading to its revitalization. Today, the Fourth Ward Stockyards stands as a vibrant tourist destination, preserving its rich cowboy heritage through events, rodeos, and historic sites. morning i'm still here at texas uh, with my friend kathy's house and um everybody just left so my goddaughter went to school she's in middle school now beautiful young girl wonderful wonderful young lady who's been thriving and doing just wonderfully in school so proud of her and her parents and then her sister is so funny. So anyways, my compadre just left before he left. He said, I wanted, I've been meaning and I've been wanting to take a picture with you with this item. And then he pulled something out of their um, cabinet here in the kitchen and it was this one. So when I started, you know, I was told you need to set up your merch shop as soon as you know you can get monetized you know it's there it's an extra you know stream of in income and honestly i don't remember or i didn't notice and so when he showed me this mug i thought it was just the sweetest thing you know some some people sometimes i don't know how and what did i do to deserve this kind of Friendship. I mean, I've known Kathy and Dang since our kids were little. And, uh, you know, we we were so close and we are still close, except, you know, we kind of lived so far apart from each other. They're here in Texas now. I've been in San Diego for 
over 10 years and yet we stay connected and it's one of those friendships that we don't talk every day or every month. We talk very, very sparingly but when we talk or when we see each other we seem to always pick up where we left off and I have I have a good amount of friends like that. And so when he showed me this, I thought it was just so sweet. You know, it's their way of supporting me, even though I'm far apart from them. And I've had several people, especially close friends and family who did that, you know, support me with my merch. And by the way, if you're watching, I do have a merch shop. So, you know, it really helps me if you just look at it and see if there's anything there that catches your attention. If you want to support my channel, yeah, just, you know, grab one of my merch. And um, so, yeah, I thought I just want to share that. I'm eating breakfast, by the way, <laughs> coffee and eggs. So, just want to share that. She was sad. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.